Yeah, good to know. Hello, and thank you for joining us from wherever you are, because wherever you are, we're glad you're there, as opposed to being here, because if you were here, that would mean you'd probably be violating some kind of state shelter-in-place ordinance, and we don't need you getting in trouble right now while we're trying to bring you the positive news of Henry County Schools, and that's what this show is all about. Now, what's the name of this show, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. Thanks for asking. It's called the Good to Know News Show, and you are seeing the first episode, and it's a big deal if you can't tell by my tuxedo shirt that, you know, is, it's meant to signify that this is a formal event and this may be the last time we do this. So we want to go out on a high note wearing the nicest threads we have. And, uh, well, the, the original tuxedos of the dry cleaners and I can't get there right now, but trusty backup, the tuxedo shirt, uh, is, you know, on standby and glad to bring it out and, you know, share it with you today. You know, last time I wore this shirt, it reminds me uh, that uh, my son was born 10 years ago. And just like I wanted to make a good first impression for you guys, I want to make a good first impression for him. And so that's why uh, there's a good bit of semblance between this shirt. And so, again, we thank you for joining us for this big occasion. It's going to be awesome. You're going to find out so many good things about Henry County Schools that you're just going to want to go out and tell everybody. And that's the point. That's the purpose. Now, you probably might wonder a little bit about what you're watching you know, what you will be watching later on. And we... We don't blame you. You know, we're, we're trying to figure it out as we go too. But that's okay. We're going to do this together, and it's going to be awesome. Now, you've probably seen some of these guys out on television right now, or excuse me, on social media, um, that are trying to do these shows, these feel-good shows about things that are happening all over the nation. Well, guess what? We're not trying to be like those guys. Those guys don't know what they're doing. In fact, those guys are trying to copy off of us. And those guys are going to be crying when they see that we get these Emmy Awards and our you know, show is going to take off and gain so many followers that you know, we're just going to have to you know, have new servers and you know, set up new you know, verified accounts on social media. They just don't get it. But we do, and we're excited to bring it to you right now. Now, throughout this whole quarantine, you, you, you've done a lot of hard work. You know, students have been doing a lot of hard work. Parents have been doing a lot of hard work for students, including third grade math, sharing stuff out on social media to try to get people to do their math homework for them because they don't understand some of it. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we're here to help provide the positive to get you through that. Okay? So let's just keep going. And you know, you know, probably during this time you've watched a lot of, you know, television shows after you finished all your work, right? You know, you're not doing that during the middle of the day. Probably try to finish all of the Netflix catalog. We're almost there. At least here we are. And, uh, you know, you're looking for new shows. You're looking for new content. We hope this is one that you'll plug in and, and make it regular for you as long as we keep going with it. But we also hope that you've been able to watch such things as like our Board of Education meeting recap. Now, we know you've been waiting to watch all of those and we don't blame you. They're incredible because not only do you get to see me there but you also could see the superintendent and hear us talk about all the great things the Board of Education is doing. And they're doing a lot of good stuff too. But today we're going to focus on all the great things that our students and our teachers and our community partners are doing uh, in this particular show. So sit back, relax, and uh, let, me, let me just start by uh, bringing out my guitar. I mean, it's, uh, it's an important piece for me. Um, they say that people who uh, can play a musical instrument are usually kind of the life of the party. Uh, they're very confident. Uh, they have the ability to capture an audience. Um, by being able to, you know, just play some incredible music. And, well, that's not me because I don't know how to play the guitar. But uh, we're going to keep going right now. I probably need to put that down before I hurt somebody with that bad music as well as these bad jokes. So let's start with our first story today, and that's a positive story, speaking of music, about Melanie Kellum, a teacher at McDonough Middle School. Now, Melanie found a unique way to reach her students by asking them to create a rap about... Wait for it. Former President Jimmy Carter. Now, how cool is that? That's you know just one unique way that she reached out to have her students engaged in a very cool lesson. And she was actually featured on one of the Atlanta TV stations for her cool rap. So let's take a look back at her rap. 
virtual school, Melanie Kellum ended her day with an announcement to her 8th grade Georgia Studies at McDonough Middle School in Henry County. I have a special surprise for I'm going to give you a Jimmy Carter rap. Born in Plains, Georgia, that's right, the south side. His daddy slayed peanuts because in Georgia they do thrive. When I joined the Google Meet, all the kids were there, even kids that I don't teach. <laughs> but Jimmy said no, no, and left the farm. He said bye-bye. He served it in the Navy. They came, and they stayed, and they got the lesson for today. Jimmy Carter. Woo! And using some of that time to connect with me personally so they can see their teacher and, and so that I can inspire them to be creative. I love that rap. I was waiting for the Miss Lillian reference. I mean, how cool is that, right? Speaking of you know music and carrying that theme through, we also have a really cool story about Katie Wilson, a fifth grade teacher at Unity Grove Elementary. Now, Katie, drawing some inspiration from her children at home, uh, you know, while she's working to you know provide uh, engagement for her students uh, through remote learning, you know, via the the internet and of course you know our many Google Meets, she was able to take some very popular music from some movies and provide her own lyrics to them to really talk and and, and share her experience during this quarantine. Her musical talents, her uh, songwriting talents, actually garnered her uh, a little bit of notoriety with one of the local news stations and let's let's take a listen to her tune from set to the music from the popular movie trolls the school year is over for all k-12 through public schools in georgia it is one of the latest efforts from governor brian kemp to contain covid 19 in our state one teacher in henry county is devastated but there is one thing keeping her spirits up so um, last night's announcement came as a blow. I'm not going to lie, I did cry quite a bit. Um, just the reality of not seeing our students is just, it's a shell shock. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much because I might cry again. Katie Wilson's a fifth grade teacher at Unity Grove Elementary School in Henry County. She says it's a shame her fifth grade students won't get to end the year of celebrations that they deserve before moving to middle school. But Wilson is still teaching her students from home, and she's even singing for them. Waking up at a later time, no need to shower or print and time. And I get to wear yoga pants all the time. It's going to be a fantastic day. It's all an effort to spread some positivities in these trying times. You might recognize the melody from the Trolls movie. But Wilson wrote the lyrics all herself. She says her five-year-old son is obsessed with the movie. Meantime, here's what her husband and the community think about the video. I was like, does it sound okay? And he was like, yeah, you sound good. I mean, not when the voice good, but you sound okay. <laughs> I was like, well, thanks. People have been super kind. The biggest thing is, oh my gosh, we didn't know you sang like that. So far, her singing video posted on Facebook has gotten more than 10,000 views. Many comments thanking her for her work as a teacher, calling her a hidden hero among this pandemic. Incredible is the word that comes to mind. Now, we, we, we also understand that you did so well with that one that you had an encore performance, this time with a very popular Disney movie called The Little Mermaid. It's all a mess. How can I teach? I feel so stressed looking around here. I think, man, this is not easy. I've got cereal and cookies aplenty. I've got noodles and chicken galore. You want beverages? Got more than 20. But who cares? This is real. I want. We know that your students and your principal and your coworkers are expecting you back next year, but uh, you know who knows? You might uh, 
uh, we might see you trying out for America's Got Talent or, of course, The Voice or American Idol. You're that talented. So congratulations on that. Thanks for providing a, a, you know, a good smile for everybody uh, with those lighthearted songs. And congratulations on being featured all across Atlanta. So now let's turn to our next news segment. And this is a little segment we like to call Filtered News. Now, wait, you're with me, right? You got that joke. Turn, next segment. My head turned. Okay, just making sure. The news is not filtered, but obviously the image is. So this particular segment, we're going to hear from our correspondent, Carol B. Not that Carol B. I know who you're thinking about, but it's not that Carol B. It's a different Carol B. This Carol has a student in Henry County Schools, and she's here to reflect on her child's time in Henry County Schools and what she and her family are looking forward to uh, as they round out uh, their you know, school career uh, after 13 years of being in Henry County Schools. So let's, let's hear from Carol. Hello, hello, hello. This is Carol coming to you from my backyard. Mm -hmm. The struggle is real in our house with a senior and a sophomore, but the end of the year is near. Right, it's real near. Mm -hmm. Whew, this senior mama has cried just a few times about not getting to watch my son walk across that stage on May 22nd, but have no fear. Henry County Schools will do everything in their power to honor our students in late June or July, and that is something to really look forward to. So be sure to watch for all communications from Henry County Schools regarding graduation and any other information that might be pertinent to your child. Mm -hmm. I know that it is hard to juggle everything working remotely, making sure that the assignments are done, making sure that the dishes are washed, making sure that the pets are loved, but hang in there. We're all in this together. Back to you, JD. Thank you for that incredible reflection on the class of 2020, Carol, and how it's impacted you. And, you know, hey, just like your voice, we hope they go out on a high note. Thanks for your insight. We'll talk to you next time. Now it's time to move on to our next segment, and that's a feature on uh, one of our community partners that really pitched in during spring break. Now, our school nutrition department and all of its workers have been doing a, a great bit of work since we started the school closure back at the early part of March to provide lunches and breakfast for many of our students in need all across this district. They've done an incredible job to, to help provide you know, nourishment uh, that is needed, you know, that is often taken for granted, but it was definitely needed when schools shut down. Now, one of the things that our school system is unable to do is provide meals whenever our schools are fully closed. And we were closed on spring break to no remote learning operations or business operations, um, but thankfully, one of our community partners stepped in. Operation Lunchbox, Dave Newman, you know, the owner and founder, um, along with the Chris Tucker Foundation and many restaurants across Henry County stepped up in the biggest way possible. They not only provided meals, but they provided them in multiple locations and every day of spring break. And they also got volunteers to come out and help distribute these meals to the, the families and of course the students in need. And we're so thankful and appreciative of this effort. Uh, they, it, words you know, really uh, seem inadequate to, to, to thank them for this tremendous lift, this tremendous uh, you know, response to a, a critical need for our schools. So thank you, Dave Newman. Thank you for Operation Lunchbox and your efforts, as well as the Chris Tucker Foundation, and of course the restaurants who pitched in to provide meals, and of course our many volunteers who took time during their spring break to come out and help serve with a smile. Uh, these warm meals for, for families. So thank you so very much. So there's good stuff happening all across Henry County. You're kind of catching the theme right here, right? So that was one of them. Now we get the opportunity to move on and, and talk about something, a little, little, little fun facts for you, right? Everybody loves facts that they can bring up at a party, you know, you know, well, you might not be having a party right now, but you know, while you're, you know, texting with each other, hey, did you know? Well, this segment we like to call Fun facts about Henry County Schools. And this week's focus of fun facts is about some of the filming industry and, and some of the projects that have taken place and filmed right here in Henry County Schools or used Henry County Schools facilities. So let's give you a little knowledge that you can share with your friends. All right, first up, did you know that Stranger Things, the wildly popular Netflix series, season one and season two filmed right here at one of our schools in Henry County? That's right. The old Patrick Henry High School there in Stockbridge was the setting for some of the uh, school scenes there for that particular show. Diane Keaton, acclaimed actress, 
she actually shot a film called Palms at Hampton High School a couple of summers ago. Pretty cool. Not a box office hit, but still cool to see Hampton High School featured in that way. We've also had Donald Glover, who was who's been you know in Star Wars films and the Lion King, uh, you know live action uh, production. He has a television show called Atlanta. They filmed an episode at one of our schools. We've also had Legacies, which is a spinoff of the Vampire Diaries. That's been something that's filmed here. We've had a you know the Disney Company come in and film a show. We've also had a, you know several other Netflix shows. MacGyver, not. The first MacGyver, the the you know the MacGyver most of us grew up on, but a new episode or a new you know um, version of MacGyver has filmed here as well. So many different things have filmed right here in Henry County Schools, and that's the fun facts that we want to provide for you this week. We get to round out this first ever episode of the Good to Know News Show with a story of hope, the art of hope a campaign that was started by Henry County Schools in an effort to give our students the opportunity to share their talents uh, through art and provide that message of hope and inspiration to not only their fellow students, but of course, the community at large. Now, we had one student whose artwork was actually featured on Fox 5, and that was Sophia Bobo from Ola High School. Take a look at this. Henry County Schools has come up with some fun and unique ways to keep its students and families socially engaged during this time apart. A window into the life of Henry County students amid the coronavirus outbreak. I wanted people to know that it's not just them who's missing their friends, missing school. Ola High School Sophia Bobo produced the video featuring classmates and friends whose school year was upended by COVID-19. And when I heard about this project, I was extremely excited because I was, I was excited because I wanted to express my feelings and emotions for how I was coping with the stress that we're under. And I wanted everybody to know that there is hope at the end of this tunnel. The ninth graders work is featured in Henry County School District's The Art of Hope Digital Exhibition. With school campuses closed and social contact limited because of the state's shelter-in-place order, the project is a platform for students to take their insecurities about the current state of affairs and turn them into aspirations of hope. So this is a great opportunity for us to connect as a community, um, as well as unite around something that we're all experiencing. Courtney Jones is the Assistant Superintendent of Early Learning and Innovative Practice for Henry County Schools. She says students are encouraged to express their hope for Henry through various art forms. Their work is shared via social media. And although we can't connect physically, it is an awesome opportunity to connect virtually. So we want to take advantage of this time um, and take advantage of the tools that we have um, access to to be able to connect in fun and engaging ways with our students. The school district also launched the Henry Moves campaign, another social media project, encouraging students to submit photos and videos of their families engaged in healthy activity. Sophia hopes her video inspires others during these challenging times. I want people to know and I want people to see the inspiration that everything will turn out okay in the end. While students can't be together physically, school district officials say they continue to look for ways to foster connections. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Sophia, great job. Thank you so very much for sharing your talents and your message of hope and inspiration for our school system and of course for our schools, for our students, for our, um, you know, and for our community at large. If you want to participate yourself, all you have to do is submit your own entry. Now we're looking for artwork that is, you know, either a painting or a drawing or some kind of coloring. Also, you, if you are musically talented, you can, you know, sing a song, you can write an original song, you can play an instrument, or if you like to dance, you can provide that as well. We've uh, you know, enjoyed this time being able to share a lot of the positive stories of Henry County Schools with you, and there's many, many more. And we know they're out there, and we don't always know every single one, and we rely on you to share those with us. So please, take a look at the uh, email address at the bottom of the screen, and please send us your you know, ideas for some good news stories to cover uh, in our next episode. If we get a next episode right, we're hoping, fingers crossed, 
uh, that we get to come to you, uh, you know, many more times to share all this good news because there is so much to share. We thank you again for, for tuning in. We know you could be doing uh, many other things like rearranging your sock drawer or uh, putting away dishes at the moment. But uh, right now, we appreciate you tuning in to uh, watch this first ever Good to Know News Show. We hope that with the news you have, uh, that it's, we feel is good to know that you're now good to go. We'll see you next well, time. Well, that's good to know. <laughs>